have some bad news. Now, I don't want you getting worked up. Oh, just tell me. Okay, they think Gary's been killed in an explosion. He was out in the Ukraine, so... Now, I know it's hard. I'm trying not to get upset. Try not to get upset? I, I know, stupid thing to say, but... I can't believe it. I only found out this afternoon, so I thought you'd want to know. You should never have gone back out there. No, I'm... God, no, this is your fault. What? None of this would have happened if it wasn't for you. Nick, you're not making sense. Just get out. Just go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. OK. But you know where I am if you need me, all right? What I need is for you to stay out of my life. I hate you. You can see why I haven't told him about us and why I don't want you to either. So what are you going to do? I'm going to stay with Z, of course. I'll uh, tell Kate it's over. When? As soon as I get a chance. I promise. Yeah, well, don't leave it too long. The quicker you put her out of her misery, the better. Don't you think? Ah, two white wines and an orange juice, please, Sean. We're celebrating. Meet our new father, Christmas. Oh, that's great news. I'll bring the costume over as soon as I've finished it. Cheer up, Roy. There's not much to it. You just have to shove a pillow up your front and go, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> well, of course, strictly speaking, there's no reason why the standing Santa should be overweight. In fact, one could question whether it's a good role model for children, given we're trying to battle obesity. Well, uh, maybe just the ho, 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 then. Yeah. You don't think that he would appear demented? No, no, Roy. No, I don't. No. no. Hmm. What are you doing here? So he's told you the news? About Gary? Yeah. Look, I'm, uh, I'm really sorry. Your sister must be devastated. Yeah, it looks like she's not the only one. Oh. <laughs> Which is strange, considering how you weren't that close. What do you want, exactly? The truth. Put some sugar in it. Oh, thank you. Mum, have a sip. It'll make you feel better. Sorry, I didn't mean to uh, intrude. No, you're fine. Do you want a cup of tea? No, no, I'm, I'm fine, thanks. So, um, how's Faye taking it? No, she's still not home yet, love. Anyway, I thought I'd pop round and see if there was uh, any news, you know, if they've, uh, see if they've identified anyone. No, we're still waiting. OK, sorry. I suppose I'm just clutching at straws, hoping they made a big mistake so I don't have to tell anyone. There's no mistake. He's dead. So much for a Saint Christopher. I'm glad I'm not Catholic. Well, yeah, maybe you should wait to tell her. I mean, like we've done with the kids, just in, to be sure it's, well, till it can be confirmed, you know? Yeah, well, the trouble is I need to tell Anna. I was going to wait to do it face to face when I see her tomorrow, and I was kind of hoping that Faye could come with me to comfort her, you know? I'll come with you. No, love, no. You've been through enough. Yeah, your mum's right, Sarah. No, oh, I want to be there for her. Because I know exactly how she's going to feel. You've no right to come barging in here like this. All right, well, tell me what I want to know, and then I'll be gone. For instance, why did Daddy come racing all the way over here to tell you about a bloke who you basically snogged once? What? Don't bother denying it, all right? Because Gary told me. So I'll just answer the question. Pat was visiting anyway. Pretty short visit, lasted all of two minutes. Yeah, well, something came up at work. He had to rush back. Uh, you see, you're not very good at this, are you? Lying. I mean, I could give you a master class. I'm a bit of a professional liar. Rule number one, you never look away. Rule number two, always plan your story in advance, because as soon as you start thinking on your feet, everything just sort of falls apart, doesn't it? 
I don't have to put up with this. Rule number three, don't get defensive. Massive giveaway, that. Just get out, will you? Same with anger. <clears throat> Look, just tell me the truth, all right? Because I know something more went on between you and Gary than just a kiss. I'd stake my entire lying reputation on it. Do you want me to stay here all night? Because I will. Fine. OK. We slept together. But it was just the once, and it meant nothing to either of us. Satisfied? Yeah, floral goupure, 10 mil. Just six metres, it's only for samples. OK, thanks. Yes, she might have some. <sighs> do you have to do that? I don't understand. I used to be able to do this dead easy. Hiya. No, no, red won't do it. It has to be plum. Yeah, OK. All right, thanks. Bye. Ah! In fact, I could do it standing on one leg blindfolded. Must be getting old. Will you shut up? You're doing me head in. Hey, what's up with you? Are you still worrying about Andy? Yeah, a bit. Turns out he never went to Bristol. And his mate never even heard from him. Well, why don't you try messaging him like you did Matt? They have, but he's not replied. That's weird. Hey, is it uh, true what they're saying about Mary? I don't know. What are they saying about Mary? You know, that she harmed her grandson. No. And if you knew Mary, you wouldn't have even asked. Thank you. Oh, there you are. I've been calling you. Please, can you inform my ex that I do not wish to look at him, let alone speak to him? What she said. Look, I need to talk to you. It's important. T tell her. Oh, what he said. It was important to me to know I could receive support from my so-called best friend. It was important that I could count on him when the going got tough. It was important Oh, I'm that... not telling him all that. So will you listen? Jude and Angie are leaving. They're going back to South Africa for good this time. Oh, yeah. Did you manage to get through to Nicola? Yeah. How did she take it? <sighs> she was pretty shook up. It's understandable. Oh, that poor baby. Losing his father before it's even been born. Yeah, well, it's not like he would have had anything to do with this, is it? Well, he might have, given time. In that case, it's better he's gone. What? Oh, come on, love. It's not like he's out there fighting for some good cause. He's out there funding the good life for him and his missus. And I'll bet you Nicola that my grandchild wouldn't have seen a penny of it. Are you OK if something happened? Sorry, love. I just feel very bad for Nicola. Oh, God, it's fake. Go, go and get to him. <clears throat> Hiya. Hey, love. Did you have a nice time? Yeah, brilliant. We went to that pizza place in town. You got two extra toppings for half price. So, of course, Seb had to have four. <sighs> Can I have fit it in his mouth? And he's not with you? No, he's gone to his counselling session. Why? What's up? Has something happened? Fair love, um... I think you better sit down. Look, I've told you everything. Yeah. Now, are you no, 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 not everything. Oh. There's something you're not telling me. I can sense it. What was it? Was it an affair? Was it still going on? Did he think he could have my sister and a bit on the side? It wasn't like that. It was scum. Right, that's enough. Get out. I said get out. Go on. Oh, my God. You're pregnant, aren't you? And it's his. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have gone anywhere near that hospital. It was stupid of me. Oi, listen, they're the ones that are being stupid, not you. She's right. And look, I, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. I know you wouldn't harm George. I'm not interested in your pathetic grovelings. All I care about is George. They are going to be on a plane for nearly 13 hours. I mean, what if he falls sick again? I mean, he could die if he doesn't get medical attention at me. If that happened, I'd never forgive myself. 
Why should I bail him out when he lamped me one? Well, because you're his dad. And you don't stop caring about him just because he did something stupid. And look, this is another chance for him, but if I don't get these samples sorted, he's going to lose it. Is that what you want? Mm. And of course, you're not thinking of yourself here. Well, that wasn't going to sway you, was it? Mm. Right, come on. I think I know someone who can help. Did Gary know? Yeah. So what, he, he was going to leave her? No, no, it wasn't like that. It, it wasn't an affair. It was just one drunken mistake that we both regretted. You're not going to tell her, are you? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. What a mess. I'd kill him if he weren't already dead. Look, you must be really mad at him, but... He wasn't a bad man. He loved Sarah. And he was only trying to do the best he could for me. What do you mean, the best he could for you? Oh, well, that's why I went back. To Ukraine. To help me out so that I could move away. So you mean all this is because of you? Well, I didn't ask him to. It was his idea. So my sister's at home crying her eyes out over a bloke who never even cared about his own family? Oh, he did, of course he did. Well, then why go? Why, why put himself in that situation where he knew he could get killed? Why risk putting my sister through this when the, the money wasn't even for her? It was for you and the sprog that you're carrying. The lying, oh, selfish. Please, just don't tell her. Why should I let her grieve for a bloke who never even existed? <sighs> I'm late as per. It's right, I'm gonna get the sack. Yeah. Listen, I've told Rana she has to come clean to Zidane. You're right. It's not fair us going behind his back. She will tell him. I know she will. She wants as much as I do. Can't you just accept that we've fallen for each other? These things happen. Can't cope with this. I know it'll be hard for Zidane, but... She's not gonna leave him, Kate. She's not stringing me along if that's what you think. You don't know her like I... She told me. What? She's not gonna leave Zidane. Because she's pregnant. No, I don't believe you. She'd have said. She's only just found out. I'm sorry, Kate. Hey, yeah. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, Norris sent me. He needs his fair specs. Why didn't he come to get him? Well, I think him and Mary are close to making up. They're bonding over a crossword, so I said I'd come. What's wrong with the ones he's got? Oh, flaming ex, Sean. It's a big enough deal, me doing a good deed. Don't make me regret it. Well, where are they? I think he said uh, bedside table. OK. Cheers, love. Sorry, not there. What, really? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, in that case, forget it. It's gonna have to squint. Thanks, though. It's not fair. Why did he go back to that stupid place? He said he wouldn't. I don't know, love. Perhaps he needed the money. I'll go and put the kettle on. I want him to come back. So I can tell him that I'm sorry. What do you mean? The last time I saw him, I rowed with him. He wanted me to go and see Mum, and I wouldn't. And that's all I remember, and it's all her fault. Nobody knew this would happen, love. It's nobody's fault. Yeah, come on, love. You can't feel guilty. No. You loved Gary, and Gary loved you.
I'm here for you, you know that, don't you? And if you want to come back to ours, you can. We can get your stuff now, if you like. I don't know. I can't think right now. OK. Well, the offer's there. Do you hear me? Got your outfit, Santa. <laughs> I, I, I prefer Pelt's nickel, actually. Eh? It's the German original. Oh, I think that's a bit of a mouthful of the kids. I'd stick to Santa if I were you. <laughs> yeah, I, I've researched all about it. It's, it's interesting, actually. He, he, he used to carry a sack of treats in one hand and a big stick in the other. Or a bundle of sticks, depending on which version you read. And what were the sticks for? Uh, hitting naughty children. <laughs> Oh, right, well, I don't think that'll go down too well with the parents, or the kids, for that matter. No, don't, don't worry. I, I'm, not, I'm not suggesting a reenactment. Ah, good. Although the treats, the nuts and fruit and such like, I thought might be an appropriate lesson in this age of consumerism. What do you think? I'm going to run that by Yasmin. <laughs> anyway, here's your outfit. Oh, no, 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 that won't do it all. Oh, no, it's fine. It's dead stretching. If it's too short, the boots will cover it up. No, no, no. I have been researching the costume as well. I've got a picture of it here somewhere. What do you think? All right. Thanks for coming. So, what was it? A diversion while you waited to get pregnant? Oh, it's, we promised we wouldn't say anything. Why? What was the plan? Wait until you started showing? Kate! Just don't ask me to be godmother, eh? I don't want a consolation prize. It's not true. I'm not pregnant. What? I just said that to get him off my back. He was about to march over and tell Z about us. I, I just panicked and that popped out and I'm sorry. And yes, I know, if I would have just told Z we wouldn't be in this mess. I was gonna, I swear. But then he, he just got, like, started talking about his business and, and, and he just got so excited and happy. I just feel like it's all moving too fast. <sighs> what was that for? I'm just so relieved. I thought I'd lost you. I couldn't bear it. If you need more time to tell him, fine. I'll support you all the way. About time. Where's Sarah? She's upstairs asleep. Where have you been? Just driving round. Woo! Well, so long as you feel better then, huh? Right, I'm off. Now, if there's anything you want, Gail, honestly, anything at all, you just ring me, OK? Thanks, Mum. Right. And you be strong for your mum. I will. Good girl. How was she? Well, she seems quite calm now. Yeah, too calm. What if this sends her over the edge again? Try not to worry, love. We're all here to rally round. Aren't we, David? Yeah. Couldn't you sleep? <sighs> no. Every time I close my eyes, I found this. What is it? It's, uh, it's a letter that Gary wrote, you know, in case anything happened to him and I nearly threw it away uh, when he stopped going out there and I'm just really glad I didn't now. You never showed it me. What does it say? Just about how much he loves us all and how we were the centre of his life. I should have stopped him going. This is all my fault. Oh, it's not. But he was doing it for me. He said he wanted our new home to be perfect and he wanted us to have the best Christmas ever. Sarah, listen. Mum, you couldn't have stopped him going anyway. You tried last time, remember, and you didn't listen. Bethany's right. And the fact he risked his life because he loved you, because he wanted to take care of you all, that's something to be proud of, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. And that's what you've got to hang on to, not any regrets. Because that love that he had for you, that's what's going to get you through this. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. He was the best, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he was. 
Hey, look. I'm a little busy at the minute. What is it? Sorry, it won't be long. I've come about Andy. OK. Yeah, well, Steph said that he's gone to his mates in Bristol, but it turns out he's never been. So weird. Mm. I spoke to him only last week. Really? Yeah, he called me asking for a reference for some flat he was after. I think it was Birmingham. All right, so you know his address then. Just that all this stuff keeps arriving for him and I could do with sending it on. Oh, OK. I've got it somewhere. Tell you what, why don't you leave this with me? I'll send it on for you. OK. Great. Thanks. OK. Happy to help. Actually, could I have the address anyway? I'd quite like to get in touch with him. Mm. Sure. But after what he did to your sister, I wouldn't give him the time of day personally. Yeah, well, Steph's happy now. And we did used to be mates. Well, I'm not sure where to put it. I'll have to dig it out. OK. Uh, well, I'll come back tomorrow, then. Is that all right? Yeah. Great. Cheers, Luke. Cheers. Bye, mate. Two Australia Toff meet some slithery friends in her Snakes Are High Bush Tucker trial, plus the third live vote-off. It can only be I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here with Anton Deck. <laughs> 